Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This evening I made it out for my final shoot here in North Cornwall, back down to Crackington Haven for a fingers crossed sunset shoot. It's a bit sort of 50-50 or probably more like 75-25 because there's only a very small sliver of a clear sky before a bank of cloud right on the horizon. So sunsets around about half past eight um, i'm well here within enough time um, to actually capture this so hopefully it should work out really quite well the other thing as well re revisiting this location uh, well i've been here several times over the two weeks that i've been down here but photographically speaking this time the tide is actually in and what power and ferocity these waves are crashing against the shoreline here um, absolutely full awesome of the uh, Atlantic Ocean which is fantastic to witness but uh, hazardous nevertheless and I'm trying to be as cautious as possible scramble down a little bit of the rocks onto a plateau here and this is where I'm going to base myself I'm not going to risk it going any further or closer to the edge even though I really want to I'm not really going to work, run the risk of doing that so working on one composition already so fingers crossed should work out to be a really interesting evening and as the lights just shining through now I better hurry up with the photography So I'm working on a composition here with some of the heather in the foreground leading round to one of these fingers of rock that's pointing in the direction of where the sun is setting. And as I mentioned earlier, I've got this thin sort of break in the clouds. So I've got obviously a bank of cloud on the horizon, then obviously a gap and then cloud above. And the sun is sort of flitting in between that area nicely. And I've got some of the corpuscular rays coming through for the sunbeams. and. Uh, working out to be really interesting so i've got the camera set up on 18 mil f11 iso 100 is my kind of standard flitting around with the shutter speed though about 1 15th of a second to 1 13th of a second but bracketing about sort of one and a half stops give or take either side because i need that dynamic range for the foreground the mid-ground and then obviously the highlights in the sky as well just so I can control it when I get back to post-production. I may be only needing two of those in the final uh, composition when I put it together but at least I've got all that data there to sort of pull back. But I'm really loving this composition here with the sort of leading sweeping line round to the position of where the, uh, the sun is setting and also as the cloud does break that little bit and the sunbeams do come through it highlighted that lovely sort of golden light on the uh, seat itself and that worked out really quite well but uh, it's only going to be a very small window of opportunity for this shoot but those are the conditions that I've got today or this evening um, and that's all we can really work with isn't it but uh, for a location this is really stunning really enjoying it Fingers crossed though, the other thing that might work is I might get some sort of reflected light on the high altitude clouds as well. So who knows? It's never over until I turn the camera off.
working on two compositions here as the lights really faded unfortunately but that doesn't mean that the photograph shoot should actually stop there so I've just moved a little bit further down this finger of land here to still keep the heather that I really enjoy as a foreground interest in some compositions so I had it set up on the camera down low, but I've also now extended it to its full height so I can actually get over the top of the heather, but still keep it in the foreground because I've got the camera in vertical orientation. But I'm looking down at some of the rocks as well and out to the headland on the opposite side of the bay here at Crackington Haven. And that's a real sort of iconic headland there of Crackington Haven so I really want to make sure that I've got that within the shot. So for the actual settings for this composition that I've gone for is f11, ISO 100 and half a second as the shutter speed because that's creating a lovely sort of movement within the sea and as the waves are really crashing in against the shoreline here with some awesome power and I really want to capture that. Yes obviously I could freeze it if I wanted to up the ISO but to be honest, I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to try and keep it with the settings that I've got to show the movement and the spray and the white foam that's created when obviously the waves crash up against the rock. And as they are, they're creating these lovely plumes of sea spray. Luckily enough though, not coming too high that it's going to affect any sort of uh, splashes onto the end of the lens. So that's obviously a plus point, but really really interesting nevertheless so if i've captured this image now i think i'm going to pack up head scramble back up the headland there and uh, make a slow walk back to the car and maybe capture another composition on the way back down to the car. So the uh, sun's completely set now and uh, well and truly the shoot is over. Unfortunately to rub a bit of salt from off of the sea into my wounds, uh, my actual vlogging camera, the, I didn't put the tripod down correctly, it fell over, the uh, 10 to 18 mil lens fell off and it's the actual ring that you attach it to the camera is completely broken off. So. Um, yeah might need to get that one repaired i don't think a bodge job that i did on it uh, myself is going to suffice this time but um who knows fingers crossed but i've really enjoyed the shoot and unfortunately that is a little bit of a sort of uh, sting in the tail for this one i've taken one other composition that i'll share with you at the end as well but i really uh, have enjoyed myself in uh, north cornwall um, over this past two weeks and really enjoy coming out and doing the shoots as well I'll leave in the description below in this vlog obviously the details for the cottage that I'm staying at as well because the guy who actually owns it is a fellow photographer as well um, and really great into his uh, landscape in and around the area so if you are thinking about visiting check out that because obviously he will be able to give you some location advice as well which uh, is really invaluable information. Anyway, hope you've really enjoyed these uh, vlogs from North Cornwall. Thanks a lot for watching. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure you leave us a comment and really enjoy, enjoy those comments. And if you haven't considered it already, please consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.